Hey everyone, this is Miro, my Robo Vacuum Cleaner, and in this video series, I want to explore how Miro is able to move around my apartment without bumping into any walls or furniture. To start off, I built this application which allows me to quickly map out my apartment, and to keep things simple, I'll use these black boxes which I can resize and move around to map the furniture and walls in the apartment. I'll then take Miro, which is this blue block, and place him in this corner over here. I'll also take this gold block, which depicts where I want Miro to navigate to, and place it in this corner over here. Now that we've got the basic layout of the apartment ready, the problem that we're trying to solve is to give Miro the intelligence to be able to find a path to the goal. And keep in mind that we want a solution that works not just for this map, but for almost any map that we can create. To do that, we're going to take a look at an algorithm that reminds me of this slime that researchers found which is able to search for food tucked away in a maze by creating these branches that can explore the maze. Okay, so let's start off by using this function that I wrote to generate a random point somewhere within our map. We then look for a branch in our tree that we're constructing that's closest to this point. But since we don't have any branches at the moment, we'll settle for the center of Miro. Next, we'll calculate the distance between these two points using this function over here. If this distance is less than a threshold value that we define, then we just create a new branch to this point. But if this distance is greater than our threshold value, then we create a new branch in the direction of this point with a length of our threshold. And we do this provided that this new branch does not collide with any walls or furniture. We then repeat this process over and over again until one of the branches connects to the goal. And here's the code that does just that for anyone that's interested. Now, let's run this algorithm on the map we created and see it in action. We can see that the branches are nicely able to explore almost all the crevices of the apartment, but the algorithm seems to be struggling a bit to find the goal. To fix this, let's modify this function that we wrote earlier that generates a random point by making it return the location of the goal instead of a random point with a 20% probability. This probability represents how often the tree should branch in the direction of the goal and is called the goal bias. You can see here that a lower probability allows the tree to explore the map, whereas a higher probability forces the tree to branch in the direction of the goal more aggressively. Now with that change in place, let's rerun the algorithm on our map and see what happens. We can see that with this change, one of the branches eventually reaches the goal and once that happens, we know that we have a path that Miro can follow to get to the goal. So let's change the layout of the apartment a bit by blocking the path that Miro just found and seeing if the algorithm is able to accommodate for that change. We can see that even in this situation, the branches are able to evolve around the furniture and find another path to the goal. In fact, this algorithm is so good that it's even able to find the goal in these insane maps that I created. In my 
opinion, it's fascinating to see how such a simple set of rules can produce such a dynamic algorithm that's able to evolve and solve almost any map that I throw at it. And the name of this algorithm that we just implemented is called Rapidly Exploring Random Trees, or RRT for short, which I'll link in the description if anyone's interested in reading more about it. While this video focused on one specific pathfinding algorithm that works well in the real world, we've barely scratched the surface of the engineering required to allow robots like Miro to navigate the real world. So if you'd like me to continue exploring these topics in more videos, and would also like me to continue building out and eventually releasing my application, then make sure to let me know in the comments down below. And don't forget to leave a like as well if you found this video interesting. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video.